Economics with Jean-Paul uh, Jean Paul Fitoussi. He's a professor of economics at Sciences Po in Paris and he's a close advisor to Nicolas Sarkozy to discuss about the Greek situation and also to discuss on uh, economic reforms for the French economy. The main reform has been already carried away and uh, uh, what is left mainly is the pension reform and that is on the agenda of this year. It is uh, uh, not sure at all that uh, what we thought as being good reform before the crisis are good reform after the crisis. They could be the worst of a reform we can do. For example, um, one very important fact which come out of the crisis is that France has been the country which has the best resisted to the crisis in the world, I mean, among the rich countries. Do you think that the government will manage to bring back the public finances on track uh, before the next uh, elections? That, for me, is not a big issue. But we have had a crisis. And the crisis has had <coughs> the worst effect on public finance through two channels. The first has been the money needed to bail out the financial sector, which has been huge. Second, the government have had to make some stimulus plan. The stimulus package in the European Union has been 1.4 of GDP for three years. The stimulus package in uh, the US has been 5.6% of GDP. And it's four times higher. If we look at the world now, we say, well, the European Union is, a, is in a very good shape with respect to, 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 to its public finance. But um, the US and the, uh, the Japan are in, in a terrible state. What about the rating in France? Do you think that the country is facing really a possible downgrade of its triple A rating? The uh, 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 notation of the country depends on its uh, saving capacity. <coughs> um, France has a very high rate of saving. France has not um, a disequilibrium of the financing of its private sector, as it appears <laughs> uh, when you look at uh, the uh, uh, current account. <laughs> so basically, uh, <laughs> there is no need for France to borrow more than it can out of its savings. Christine Lagarde, the French finance minister, made recently some comments about Germany, about its uh, trade surplus. Uh, do you think there's a real gap, a real clash between the, the two countries? Uh, the problem is uh, uh, how long you can make a policy of competitive disinflation when uh, uh, you pertain to uh, uh, the euro area. Who is responsible? The country which are in deficit or the country which are in surplus? If Germany wants a surplus, then the other member of the euro area would be in deficit. The uh, growth strategy of Germany has two flow. The first is that it is totally uncooperative because it is not grounded on productivity. Second, Germany is a big country, the biggest country of Europe. And uh, an export-led strategy is analytically uh, <coughs> justified for a small country or for an emerging country where the internal demand is very weak, but not for a big country.
And the clash between France and Germany really makes the situation more complicated for Nicolas Sarkozy. The last time that uh, he started to lose some ground on uh, political matters in France, and Nicolas Sarkozy decided to turn to international issues. That was at the beginning of the French EU presidency in order to boost his popularity. But this time, Nicolas Sarkozy is facing a tougher opposition in France. And clearly, if he turns to international issues or more European issues, he's facing also opposition with this clash with Germany uh, over uh, the Greek situation. So that's the story in Paris this morning. I send it back to you. Thank